The muscles of your wrists and forearms get tight and tense just like the muscles elsewhere in the body. That is why it's useful to take small movement breaks for your hands throughout the day and include various hand movements in your regular yoga practice. When we do that, we need to make sure to contract and stretch the muscles of the fingers, to mobilize the wrists, as well as contract and stretch the wrists with and without resistance. In this yoga practice, we focus our attention fully on the wrists and forearms to release tension, increase range of motion, and make them stronger and more supple. I'm Olga Cable, yoga teacher and yoga therapist. Let's begin. We will begin the practice in a comfortable seated position of your choice. So take a moment now to get settled. Close your eyes. Turn your attention inward. And begin to deepen your inhalation and lengthen your exhalation. Try to take your inhalation to about six seconds and your exhalation to about six seconds as well. And continue to breathe at this steady pace. Once you get the space established, go ahead and extend your arms in front of you and point your fingertips down so your wrists are flexed. From here, with the inhalation, slowly raise your arms up, keeping your wrists flexed like that. And then with the exhalation, point the fingers in the opposite direction as you slowly bring your arms forward and down. And let's do it again. Flex your wrists, point the fingers down toward the floor, moving your arms forward and up. And then point the fingers in the opposite direction as you slowly bring your arms forward and down. Do it one more time on your own. Moving your arms forward and up, flexing your wrists. And as you exhale, move the arms forward and down, extending your wrists. Whenever you finish with that, next time sweep your arms out and up and at the same time circle your wrists inward. Deep breath in, raising the arms up. And as you exhale, bring your arms out and down, circling your wrists in the opposite direction, outward. And we'll do that a couple of times. As you inhale for about six seconds, sweep your arms out and up, circling your wrists in. Reach up high, and as you exhale for about six, bring your arms out and down, circling your wrists out. Do it one more time on your own, please. Pay attention to how your forearms and your wrists feel. Whenever you finish with that, go ahead and transition onto your hands and knees. Align your hands so that they're about shoulder distance apart. Spread your fingers wide apart. And then make a point of pointing the middle fingers forward. Keep your palms on the floor like that. Next time when you inhale, move your chest forward and up. Widen the collarbones. And with the exhalation, slowly move down, bringing your elbows down first. And then moving your butt down toward the heels, relaxing the neck along the way. And let's continue with that on the inhale. Come on up onto your hands and knees, widening the chest. Make sure that the middle fingers are still pointing forward. And with the exhalation, gradually contract the abdomen, bring your forearms down, and then your butt down toward the floor, toward the heels, relaxing your neck. Go up and down two more times on your own, please. Full deep breathing.
Next time when you move down into the child's pose, stay there. Keep your arms extended in front of you. Bring your attention to your hands. With the next inhalation, keep the heels of the hands on the ground, but lift your fingers up off the floor. And then with the exhalation, slowly bring the palms down to the floor and then the fingers as well. And again, with the inhalation, peel your fingers and then palms off the ground. Lift them so that the fingertips are pointing up. And with the exhalation, slowly bring the palms down and then the fingers down as well. Let's do that two more times as you breathe on the inhale. Peel your hands off the ground. Point your fingertips up best you can. And with the exhalation, gradually lay the palms and then the fingers back down on the floor. One more time on your own, please. Whenever you finish with that, place your hands on your lower back, please. With the next inhalation, lift up on your knees, sweeping your arms out and up, at the same time circling your wrists outwards. Reach up high, and with the exhalation, slowly move back down, circling your wrists in the opposite direction this time, and move your hands to your lower back. And we'll do that again with the inhalation. Sweep the arms out and up as you go up, circling the wrists outwards. You can make fists, or you can just keep your hands, fingertips spread out. And with the exhalation, circle the wrists in the opposite direction as you move all the way down, relaxing the shoulders and the neck. Do it one more time on your own, please. Full deep breathing. And next time we'll change it a little bit. So next time, again, sweep your arms out and up as you lift up on your knees. No circling this time. Reach up high. With the exhalation, stay up on your knees and turn to your right, bringing your arms out to the sides, pointing the fingertips up toward the ceiling. Look back. With the inhalation, turn forward, flexing your wrists the other way, raising the arms up. With the exhalation, turn to your left, bringing the arms out to the sides again, fingertips pointing at the ceiling. With the inhalation, raise the arms back up, flexing your wrists the other way. And with the next exhalation, go all the way down, bringing your hands to your lower back, relaxing your wrists, your shoulders, and your neck. Let's do that again. On the inhale, sweep your arms out and up as you lift up on your knees, reach up high. As you exhale, turn to your right, arms out, fingertips pointing up, look back. Inhale, turn forward, arms up, flexing your wrists the other way. Exhale, turn to your left, look back, fingertips are pointing up. Inhale, raise the arms back up. And with the exhalation, move all the way down. Chest to your thighs, hands to your lower back. Go through the entire cycle one more time, please. Full deep breathing. Whenever you extend your arms out to the sides, make sure that you reach out through the heels of your hands. And whenever you finish with that, extend your arms in front of you. With the inhalation, come on up onto your hands and knees. Lift the chest forward and up. With the exhalation, curl the toes under. Lift your knees. And through the downward facing dog, little by little, walk your hands towards your feet so you end up standing on your feet. Hang down for a moment. Relax your neck. And then press your feet firmly into the ground, sweeping your arms out and up, and go up into standing. Reach up high. And with the exhalation, bring your arms down. From here, step your right foot forward. Make sure that your feet are not in one line. Hips are facing forward. We'll be doing the warrior one here. So relax your arms down. And then from here, point your fingertips so that they are pointing forward. This will be our starting position. 
Now with the next inhalation, bend your front knee, moving your arms forward and up. And as you do that, point your fingertips down as you raise your arms forward and up. So at the top, your fingertips are point, pointing forward. And with the exhalation, come out of the pose, lowering your arms forward and down. Fingertips are pointing up this time. And when your arms are down, your fingertips will end up pointing forward. And let's do that again on the inhale. Bend your front knee, raising your arms forward and up. Fingertips are pointing down and forward. And with the exhalation, straighten your front leg, moving the arms forward and down. Fingertips are pointing forward up and then forward and let's do it again inhale move the arms forward and up as you bend the front knee and with the exhalation come out and again forward and up keep your knee bent this time with the next exhalation slowly lower your arms down and then bend your elbows and position your forearms so that they are parallel to the ground Palms are facing up. From here, curl your fingers in and curl your wrists in as well. This will be our starting point. From here, with the next inhalation, pull your elbows back, curling the wrists even further in. And with the next exhalation, push forward with your hands, looking down and stretching forward through the palms of your hands. Keep your front knee bent throughout. With the inhalation again, pull your elbows back, Curl the fingers in and the wrists in as well. Widen the chest, lift the chin. And with the exhalation, push forward with both hands. Fingertips are pointing up, looking down. And again, as you inhale, pull your elbows back. Curl the fingers and your wrists in. Palms are pointing up. And with the exhalation, push forward with both hands again. Fingertips are pointing up, look down. One more time on your own, please. Keep your front knee bent throughout this movement. And then from here, with the next inhalation, slowly raise your arms forward and up. Interlace the fingers and turn the palms up if it feels okay to you. Stay here and exhale, gradually contracting your abdomen, pressing your back heel firmly into the ground. Now we'll continue to breathe here. So every time you inhale for at least six seconds or longer, lift your chest away from your hips and stretch up through the palms of your hands. Every time you exhale, contract your abdomen, press your back foot, back heel firmly into the ground and relax the shoulders and elbows a bit. Continue to breathe like that, creating a little bit more length every time you inhale. And every time you exhale, create a little bit more stability through the center and through the back heel, softening the elbows. One more breath like that on your own, please. And with the next exhalation, come out of the pose. Move your feet so that they're about hip distance apart, stand tall. Relax your shoulders. Shake your hands, shake your arms. Close your eyes, take a couple of nice deep breaths here. And then if you feel ready, step your left foot forward. Again, make sure that your feet are not in one line. Hips are facing forward. Relax your arms down. And once you relax your arms down, point your fingertips forward. This is our starting position. With the next inhalation, bend your front knee, raising your arms forward and up. Pointing your fingertips down as the arms travel up. And with the next exhalation, come out of the pose. Lowering your arms forward and down. Fingertips are pointing up. And then they end up pointing forward. Let's do that again on the inhale. Bend your front knee, raising your arms forward and up. Fingertips are pointing down. And then end up pointing forward. And with the next exhalation, gradually straighten the leg, lowering the arms. Fingertips are pointing up. And then forward. 
Do that two more times on your own, please. Full deep breathing, at least six second inhalation and six second exhalation. And the next time when you move into the pose, keep your knee bent with the exhalation, lower your arms down, bend the elbows, position them so that your forearms are parallel to the ground and parallel to each other, curl the fingers in and then curl the wrists in as well. With the next inhalation, pull the elbows a little further back, widening the chest and lifting the chin a bit. And with the exhalation, push forward with your hands, straightening your arms, fingertips are pointing up, look down. With the inhalation again, pull the elbows back, curl the fingers and your wrists in as you pull the elbows back, widen the chest. And with the exhalation, push forward with your hands, looking down. Keep stretching out through your palms. Knee stays bent. Do that two more times on your own, please. Inhale, pull, curling the fingers and your wrists in. And exhale, push, looking down. Fingertips are pointing up. One more time on your own. And then from here, next time when you inhale, raise your arms forward and up. Keep your front knee bent. Interlace your fingertips and turn the palms up if it's appropriate, if it works for you. Stay here. Soften the elbows a bit. Next time when you inhale, lift the chest and reach up through your palms, stretching, stretching up high. With the exhalation, gradually contract the abdomen and press your back heel firmly into the ground, creating stability. We'll continue to breathe like that in the pose. So every time you inhale, create a little bit more length through the entire torso and all the way up into the top of the head and your palms. And with the exhalation, create more stability in your center and through your back heel. Keep your front knee steady. Continue to breathe like that. At least six second inhalation, at least six second exhalation, longer if possible. And with the next exhalation, come out of the pose. Bring your arms down. Keep your feet wide apart and turn so your feet are parallel to each other. And then from here, move your heels in a little bit so you end up in like a ballerina stance. With the next inhalation, sweep your arms out and up, circling your wrists in. And with the exhalation, bend your knees, pulling them apart, moving your arms out and down, circling your wrists in the opposite direction. And we'll continue to move like that. On the inhale, straighten the legs as you sweep the arms out and up, circling your wrists in. And with the exhalation, bend your knees as you squat down, moving the arms out and circling your wrists out. Do that two more times on your own, please. Full deep breathing. Going up, sweeping the arms up. Circles. On the exhale, going into the squatting position, moving the arms out. Circles in the opposite direction. One more time. So once you bend your knees, keep your knees bent, please. Keep your upper body pretty much in the upright position. Just hinge slightly forward at your hips. Keep pulling your knees apart. Make sure that you're sturdy and stable in this position. Interlace the fingers in front of you. Palms are facing your chest. With the next inhalation, move your arms forward and up, pulling your hands away from your chest and keep raising the arms all the way up. And then with the exhalation, bring your arms out and down. Keep your knees bent throughout this motion. Again, interlace the fingers. With the inhalation, move your arms forward and up. Keep pulling your hands away from your body. And then with the next exhalation, free up your hands and move the arms out and down. We'll do that two more times. Interlace the fingers, move the arms forward and up. And exhale, move the arms out 
and down. One more time on your own. Full deep breathing. Whenever you finish with that, keep your knees bent. Place your palms together in front of the chest. Point the elbows outwards. Widen the chest. Relax your neck. And let's take a few more full deep breaths here. Every time you exhale, gradually contract the abdomen and try to sink a little bit deeper into the pose. Be mindful of your knees, of course. Make sure that it's not bothering your knees. And as you inhale, lengthen through, your, through the entire spine, lifting up a little bit. And with the exhalation again, sink a little bit deeper into the pose. Keep pressing your palms into each other. And with the inhalation, lift slightly up. Take two more breaths like that, please. Continue to pull your knees away from each other. And then next time when you inhale, go ahead and straighten the legs. Go all the way up. Reach up high. With the exhalation, bring your arms down. Move your feet even wider apart. This time make sure that your feet are about parallel to each other. With the inhalation, raise your arms out and up. Up, reach up high. And with the exhalation, gradually bend forward, bringing your arms out to the sides and then all the way down. So put your hands on the ground and then turn them so that the fingertips are pointing back. And then walk your hands as far back between your feet as you can. Relax your neck. So place your palms on the floor if possible. You can always put your hands on the blocks if you need to. Stay here. So with the next inhalation, go ahead and bend the knees, pulling your knees out to the sides and lift the chest up, straightening your arms and keeping your palms on the floor. And with the next exhalation, slowly straighten the legs, bend down a little bit deeper and bend your elbows toward the 90 degree angle or as much as you can. Keep your upper arms parallel to each other. Again, with the inhalation, bend the knees, pull them apart, lift the chest and straighten your arms. Palms remain on the floor throughout. And with the next exhalation, straighten the legs, bend down, bend your elbows toward 90 degrees, upper arms parallel to each other. And let's do that a couple more times. Inhale, bend the knees, lift the chest, straighten the arms. And as you exhale, straighten the legs best you can, bending forward and bending the elbows. One more time on your own. Now stay here in the pose. Keep your legs as straight as you can. Relax your neck down. Continue to move your upper body deep into the forward bend. Continue to bend your elbows. Press your palms firmly into the ground. Breathe deep here. If possible, we want the 90 degree angle both at your wrists and at your elbows. Do your best to keep your forearms parallel to each other as long as your upper arms as well as your upper arms. And take a couple more nice deep breaths here. And whenever you had enough of that, go ahead and Free up your arms, little by little walk your hands forward, press your feet firmly into the ground, reach out to the sides, lead with the chest and go all the way up into standing, reach up high, stretch, and with the exhalation, bring your arms down. From here, go ahead and transition down onto your hands and knees. Once again, make sure that the middle fingers are pointing forward. Keep your hands about shoulder distance apart. With the next inhalation, lift the chest forward and up. And as you exhale, curl the toes under, lift your knees off the ground and push into the downward facing dog, pushing your butt back away from your hands. 
With the next inhalation, carry your upper body forward into the plank position, aligning your shoulders over your wrists. And with the next exhalation, push back into the downward facing dog, stretching from your palms into your tailbone. Relax your neck. And we'll do that a few more times with the inhalation. Carry your upper body forward into plank. Make sure that you do not sag in your hips. And with the exhalation, return into the downward facing dog, pressing the bases of the fingers into the ground and pushing your butt back away from your hands. Two more times back and forth on your own, please. And the next time when you move into the downward facing dog, from there, with the exhalation, bring your knees down, lifting your chest forward and up. And as you exhale, move into the child's pose, bringing your butt down toward the heels. Extend your arms along the body, please. And turn them so that the palms are facing up toward the ceiling. Continue to breathe here. Every time you inhale, spread the fingers of both hands wide apart. And with the exhalation, slowly curl the fingers in and then curl the wrists in as well. And again, with the inhalation, slowly spread your palms and your fingers out wide apart. While staying in the child's pose. And with the exhalation, curl the fingers in, then curl the wrists in. With the inhalation, again, gradually spread your hands your fingers apart and exhale curl them in do that for two more breath cycles please And from here, go ahead and transition up onto your hands and knees and then lie down on your stomach. Once you make your way there, first let's make sure that the feet are about hip distance apart, hips are anchored. Bend your elbows and place your hands by the lower ribs with your fingertips pointing forward so your palms will be on the floor. Keep the elbows in and place your forehead on the ground. This will be our starting position. So next time when you inhale, slowly lift your upper body up as you pull your elbows back, shoulders back as well, widening the chest. And with the exhalation, come down right ear to the ground. Relax your neck. Let's do that again on the inhale. Slowly lift your upper body up, pulling your shoulders and elbows back. Don't push with your hands. And with the exhalation, slowly come down, left ear to the ground. We'll do the same thing, but this time we'll begin to bend one knee at the same time. So with the inhalation, slowly lift your upper body up, pulling your elbows and shoulders back, and bend your right knee, heel toward the butt. And with the exhalation, come down, right ear to the ground, relax the shoulders. And again with the inhalation, lift the upper body up, pull your left heel toward your butt, flex the ankle, widen the chest. And with the exhalation, come down, left ear to the ground. Let's do it one more time on each side, please. Lifting the chest, bending your right knee, flexing the ankle. And slowly down as you exhale. And same on the other side. Now, whenever you finish with this movement, go ahead and bend your right knee, please, and then reach for your ankle with your right hand. So make sure that you keep your hand on the outside of the ankle. Hold on, wrap your hand around your ankle best you can. And then from here, with the next inhalation, slowly lift your chest up, pulling your foot away from your upper body. Once you get all the way up here, use your left hand to prop yourself up at the top. So place your left forearm on the floor in front of you. And we will stay here 
So every time you inhale, widen the chest, lift it up, and push your right foot away from your body, making your right arm really long. And then exhale here, anchoring through your hips, ease off a little bit on your right arm. And again, full deep breath, lifting the chest, pushing your right foot away from you, making your right arm really long, feel a stretch in it. And exhale, release a little bit while still staying in the, keeping the chest raised. Take two more breaths like that. Continue to push your foot away from the body every time you inhale. And then with the next exhalation, slowly come down, let go of your ankle. Put your feet down, your arms down, your head down, and rest here for a moment. And whenever you feel ready, we'll take it to the other side. So go ahead and bend your left knee this time. See if you can reach for your ankle, holding onto your ankle on the outside. Hold on nice and strong. With the next inhalation, slowly lift your chest up, at the same time pushing your left foot away from the body. Keep the toes pointed up. And then stay here at the top and then position your right arm so that you're supporting yourself. So place your right forearm in front of you on the floor. Then we'll stay here every time you inhale. Widen the chest and lift it forward and up while pushing your left foot away from the body stretching your left arm and then stay here and exhale ease off on the left arm a little bit with the inhalation again widen the chest push your foot away from the body and with the exhalation relax your chest and your left leg slightly continue to breathe like that please Make your inhalation at least six seconds long and exhalation at least six, six seconds long as well. Longer if possible. And with the next exhalation, let go. Slowly move down. Roll onto your back, hug your knees to the chest. Circle your knees away from each other a few times. Keep your hands on your knees. And now, bend your knees. Bring them close to your chest. And see if you can wrap the index finger and the middle finger of each hand around the corresponding big toes. So do your best to wrap the fingers around your toes. And then next time, when you inhale, try to extend your legs up best you can, straightening the arms at the same time. You don't have to extend the legs all the way, just do your best. With the next exhalation, bend the knees again. Relax your neck and shoulders. And as you inhale again, try to straighten your legs, stretching your arms. And exhale, bend the knees. Do that two more times on your own, please. Every time you inhale, lengthen through your spine and your legs and your arms. Keep your neck long. And exhale, ease off. Whenever you finish with your current repetition, go ahead and bring your arms out to the sides. Keep your knees bent in front of you. Take a deep breath here. And with the next exhalation, bring both knees down to your right while turning your head in the opposite direction. We'll move into the twist. With the inhalation, bring your knees back up. Head returns to the center. And with the exhalation, again, gradual abdominal contraction as you move both knees down to your left. Turning your head to your right. 
Again, with the inhalation, everything returns back to the center. And exhale, move your knees down to your right. Head moves to your left. Inhale back to the center. Continue to move with your breath, nice and steady. Same to the other side. So with the next exhalation, go ahead and bring your knees down to your right. Turn your head to your left. Stay here. Do your best to stack your knees on top of each other. Make sure, though, that you don't tense your left shoulder either. Keep your left shoulder relaxed. Now, from here, pull your left knee a little bit higher towards your right arm and see if you can wrap your index and middle finger of the right hand around the big toe of your left foot. Reach there if you can. And then with the next exhalation, go ahead and straighten your left leg best you can while still holding on to your big toe. So extend your leg best you can. Keep your arms straight. Breathe deep. Now from this position, every time you exhale, try to push your big toe away from your body, pulling on your fingers. With an inhalation, release. And as you exhale again, push your big toe away from your body best you can, stretching your fingers. And inhale, release. Do that for two more breaths, please. Continue to breathe deeply. See how stretching of the fingers affects your forearms and then maybe all the way down into your upper arm and into the shoulder. Just observe the sensations. And whenever you finish with your current repetition, let go of your big toe, bend your top knee, and with the inhalation, bring your, your knees up. Take a deep breath here, and with the next exhalation, slowly move both knees down to your left, turn your head to your right. Once again, do your best to stack your knees on top of each other, minding your right shoulder though, make sure that you don't stress it. And whenever you feel ready, slide your right knee up a little higher towards your left shoulder. Wrap two fingers of your left hand, the index and the middle finger of your left hand, around your right big toe. And with the exhalation, extend your right leg best you can, straightening the left arm as well. Get settled into the position here. And the next time when you exhale, see if you can push that right big toe away from your body. And with the inhalation, ease off. And again, as you exhale, push the big toe away from you, pulling on the fingers and the forearm. And inhale, ease off. Continue to breathe like that and continue to stretch like that. Make sure that your neck stays relaxed. Keep your right shoulder relaxed as well. And whenever you had enough of that, let go of your toe, bend your top knee, Bring your knees up. Place your hands on your knees and circle your knees away from each other a few times. And then roll onto your side. Transition up into the seated position. Extend your legs in front of you.
With the next inhalation, sweep your arms out and up, circling your wrists in. Reach up high. And with the exhalation, slowly bend forward, keeping your arms extended and circle your wrists out. With the inhalation, reach forward and go back up, circling your wrists in. And with the exhalation, slowly bend forward, circling your wrists out, drape over your legs. Bend your knees as much as necessary to be comfortable. Do it one more time on the inhale, reach forward and go up, circling your wrists. And with the exhalation again, slowly move forward and down, circling your wrists in the other direction. Once you make your way there, stay there in the deep forward bend. Flex your ankles so that the toes are pointing straight up. You can bend the knees as much as you need to to be comfortable. And then from here, place your hands over your feet so that your palms end up in contact with your feet. Relax your neck. With the next inhalation, lengthen the spine, lifting up a little bit, pressing your palms firmly into the soles of your feet. And with the exhalation, relax your upper body and relax your arms. And do it again. Next time when you inhale, lengthen the spine a little bit and press your palms into the soles of your feet firmly. And with the exhalation, Relax your neck, shoulders, and arms, drape down. Let's do that two more times on your own. Full deep breathing. Pressing your palms into your feet. And exhale, soften, relax down. Next time when you inhale, reach forward, lengthen and go all the way up, reach up high. With the exhalation, bring your arms down and then transition down onto your back. Bend your knees, keep your feet about hip distance apart, heels pretty close to your buttocks. Extend your arms along the body, we'll be doing the bridge pose here. Press your feet firmly into the ground, and the next time when you inhale, slowly roll your hips up, raising your right arm forward and up. Reach up high. With the exhalation, roll down, bringing your right arm forward and down, and turning your head in the opposite direction at the same time. Next time when you inhale, roll up, raising your left arm forward and up. Head returns to the center. So when you're at the top, your head is at the center arm is up and with the exhalation slowly roll down bringing your left arm down as well turning your head to your right and let's do it again inhale roll up raising your right arm reach up high stretch and with the exhalation roll down turning the head away from the moving arm and same on the other side full deep breath Now, whatever you finish with that, next time when you inhale, go ahead and roll your hips and raise both arms forward and up at the same time. Stay up there, interlace the fingers and turn your palms away from your head while keeping your arms on the floor still. Stay here in the bridge pose. Every time you inhale, try to stretch your palms a little bit further away from your head, lifting the hips up. And with the exhalation, soften a little bit, but keep your hips raised. And again, inhale, stretch up through your palms. Keep your arms really long, hips are raised. And exhale, ease off a little bit. And again, inhale, stretch. Now keep your hips raised, free up your hands, and with the exhalation, slowly move your arms forward and down. Keep your arms along the ground. Interlace the fingers again. But this time, keep your palms facing your upper back. Stay here. 
With the inhalation, widen the chest and lift the hips. And exhale, press your feet firmly into the ground. And as you continue to breathe like that, continue to stretch down through your hands. Full deep breath. Whenever you finish with your current breath cycle, free up your hands and slowly roll down one vertebra at a time. Hug your knees to the chest, circle them away from each other a few times. And then put your feet down. Little by little make your way into the comfortable resting position. Bring your arms out to the sides. Make sure that your shoulders are comfortable and your neck is relaxed. Now, next time when you inhale, try to spread out through your arms and your hands, spreading your fingertips out wide. And then with the next exhalation, relax your arms and curl your fingers in softly toward the center of the palm. With the inhalation again, stretch out through your arms, through your hands, out into the fingertips, spread them out like a starfish. And with the exhalation, soften your hand, curl the fingertips in toward your palm. And do that for two more breath cycles. Every time you inhale, spread out through your arms and really through the entire body. Spread the fingers out wide, stretch out. And with the exhalation, soften your hands and curl the fingertips in. One more time on your own, please. Full deep breath. Spread out. As you exhale, curl the fingers in. And then relax your hands, wiggle your fingers a little bit. And then relax your hands completely. Make sure that you're in a comfortable resting position here. Breathe deeply. As you begin to settle into the pose, Bring your awareness to your upper back in contact with the ground. Notice your sensations there. In the upper back, the back of the neck. From there, expand your awareness into the shoulders. And then into the upper arms. Just observe your sensations there. And then into the elbows. And then forearms. Feel your wrists. And then your hands and your fingers. Stay aware of your hands for the next few breaths. And then as you continue to breathe, with every exhalation, make a point of relaxing your upper body, all of it at once. Upper back, back of the neck, shoulders, arms, hands, fingers. Continue to breathe like that. Every time you exhale is an opportunity to relax 
and soften your upper body and the rest of you. Continue to breathe like that. Continue to relax. Stay here for as long as you like. And thank you for joining me today. Namaste.